What's up everyone, it's Sejo here and welcome to another video for this Monday and in this video I'm gonna teach you really very interesting topic and that is I'm gonna teach you how to create your own social networking website such as Facebook. Yes, you heard it right. I will teach you in this video how to create your own Facebook and that too for free. So let's get started. So first off you got uh, open your browser and then go to this link over here I'll put this link in the description below so you can go check the description for this link um, once you go into this website you got to uh, click on the download tab and then click on installer and then you got to download the uh, OS SN version or the which, whichever might be the latest version so you can just download it uh, you can download the basic version which is for free so what is this open source social network well it is a PHP using which you can create a social networking website such as Facebook so they are offering this to you uh, for free you can download the basic version of this open source social network uh, without spending a dime well once the file is downloaded you got to create a domain for yourself that might be a, a subdomain too so uh, I'm, I'll be using Hostinger in this video you can go to this website cpanel.hostinger.in to uh, actually create a new account or even log in if you already have an account so I'll be logging in with the with my Facebook account here and you just got to give permissions to that app from your account and so here we go you are successfully logged in with your Facebook account now uh, from these three uh, menu you got to select free and you got to click on the order button right over here and of course you need not spend that dime in order to create a new subdomain so here you just enter the subdomain name for example let me enter it's my own facebook dot esy dot es this dot esy dot es is actually the subdomain and uh, yes you will you will get the subdomain unless you register your own domain so if you want to do this for free without spending a dime then you have to choose a subdomain and if you want to choose a domain of course you need to register that domain and in order to register that domain you got to pay so for example I'm gonna uh, show it with a subdomain in this video so just enter your uh, the name of the website you want it to be and uh, you can choose uh, a subdomain from this list and I'm gonna keep it as .esy.es the default one and uh, don't make any changes with this one and finally enter your, enter your password you have to enter it twice in order to confirm it and finally click on the continue button and it says executing so uh, okay it says the domain is res reserved and it cannot be registered so let me ch uh, try changing the subdomain let me give it dot 16 mb.com oops it says the same well let me add a number so I said it's my own facebook 156 dot esy dot es let me see if this domain is available okay uh, I think this domain is not available so let me uh, so say something like stages for group 156.esy.es uh, let's see if this is available yep that domain is available now uh, uh, the final thing you gotta do is uh, you gotta write a description over here you gotta explain why do you want to create a free subdomain so let me say um, let me say for our tutorial and you can enter the description whatever you want and after that you got to uh, you know you got to prove that you're not a robot so you got to tick mark this checkbox over here and once it changes to a uh, tick symbol you got to click on the order button and it says executing And here we go here is our new domain and uh, it says status active so we have now created our own domain for free and uh, let's go to our domain this for 156.esy.es 
so here we go it says your account has been created so we have successfully registered our own subdomain that is tejaswaroop156.esy.es okay now let's uh, just click on the domain name and once you click on that you will see an option which says manage so you, got, you just gotta click on the manage with the gear icon and uh, once you click on manage you will see uh, several options over here from these options you gotta search for import website so here we go here is the option which says import website so you gotta click uh, click on that option and once you click on that option it, it asks you to drop files or click to upload so just click on that region and you have to browse the uh, you know the OSSN file which we have downloaded earlier you should not extract the uh, zip file you should upload the zip file as it is so don't extract it just upload the zip file which you have downloaded uh, just browse the file and click on open and it should start the uh, upload automatically so once it has finished uploading it says file has been uploaded so uh, now we can just go back to the um, you know you can go to the file manager 2 over here just click on the file manager 2 and uh, then go to the public underscore HTML folder and once you go in there you will see a folder named OSSN so you just uh, got to open that folder and in that folder you will see uh, various files so you got to move all these files to the public folder so what you got to do is you got to uh, select all these files you can just click on this uh, uh, this all here and all the files get, all the files get selected automatically now once you do that you just got to click on the move button over here and then you will be taken to a screen just like this now you got to uh, you know in this directory you got to remove the slash ossn from the last and you make sure that this text box contains slash public underscore html because we want to move those files to the public underscore html folder so once you uh, make sure that uh, this text box con contains slash public underscore html just click on set all target directories so once you do that uh, you just click on the uh, green tick mark symbol over here and once you click on that green tick mark symbol here we go uh, all the files has been moved and you can just go back and then you gotta browse into the public underscore html folder and uh, inside this folder you will see various files which we have moved earlier so from these files you gotta delete the file which says OSSN so here is the file just check this file and click on the delete button on the top right corner of the screen and just delete this file so once the delete is done you just uh, remove un slash public underscore html from this text box make sure that it only contains a slash and uh, hit enter and over here you got to uh, you know you got to create a new directory so just click on new directory new dir it says and you got to name the directory as ossn underscore data so just name it as ossn underscore data and click on the green tick symbol over here so it says ossn underscore data was created successfully now you can just go back okay so the next thing you gotta do is you gotta create a mysql database so to do that you can go back to your host in your account and uh, let's go back to our you know our control panel and uh, from these options here you gotta search for an option which says mysql so here we go it says mysql databases so you just gotta click on that and once you click on that you will be taken to a screen like this and over here you got to uh, create a new database so uh, in the MySQL database name section just give the name as OSSN 
and in the MySQL username give the uh, same name OSSN and in the password section choose a password and retype the password to confirm it and finally click on the create button and the next thing is uh, you gotta go back to your file manager oops not your file manager you gotta go to your website actually so go to your website uh, in my case it is tejasvaru156.esy.es so just go to your website and once you go in here you will see uh, a open source social network page and if you just scroll down you will find a blue button which says next so you gotta click on the next button and once you click on the next button you know you will be asked to enter the name of the database uh, database user database name database host password and stuff what you gotta do is you gotta go back to the uh, mysql databases section and here you will see all the details about your database so just copy the mysql database and you go here and enter the database user just paste it and uh, yes both the data database name and the database user are same so I'm gonna paste uh, you know the same thing in both of these text fields so uh, the next thing is uh, enter the password for the database and then the database host you can just go to the databases section and uh, here we go uh, here is the host of the database it's mysql.hostinger.in so just copy this and uh, paste it here and you can give the name of the website to whatever you want like let me say it's my own facebook and uh, here you got to mention your email address let me say my email address and you can give the same email address in the uh, below text box and uh, yep that's it just click on the install button finally and once you click on the install button you will be asked to create your first account of your social network yep so just choose a first name let me say Teja second name Saru and then uh, give your email address you gotta re-enter your email sorry that's frustrating well um, you gotta choose a username uh, for your social network not social network actually you gotta you're actually creating the an account for this open source website so you gotta choose a username let me say techraj156 and then you gotta choose a password and then you gotta choose your birthday month and then year let me say 2000 yeah. and then uh, choose your agenda and then click on create and here we go uh, it says open source social network has been installed well you are done just click on the finish button and then you will be taken uh, to uh, a page like this okay now let's uh, log in with our with the username and the password which you have created techraj156 and the password so log in with your credentials there just click on the login button and here we go once you're logged in open a new tab and then go to your website so this is my website so here we go as soon as you go to your website you will see your website you will see your own social network on the screen so okay it says no one is online because uh, in my website I have only one account that is mine account my account so uh, you can invite your friends to log in to your social network uh, so I'll show you let me log out of my account and uh, yep here we go here we have a form to create a new uh, account 
on this social network and here is the name of the website name of the website which I have specified before it is my own Facebook so let me uh, create a quick uh, uh, new account quickly let's say so once you enter all the details in the registration form it says your account has been registered uh, we have sent you an ac account activation email well okay let me open my email so here I have an email from my website here we go okay it says before you can start using and it says some blah 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 well it says please confirm your email address by clicking on the link below so let me click on the link below and here we go account has been validated successfully so let me click on the login button over here let me log in with my newly created account and tada here here we go um this is my own Facebook this is my own social network and I have created it without spending a dime so that's it for today if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up below and if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment below in the comment section or you can even email me at anonymous hacker 156 at the rate gmail.com the email ID will be provided in the description below hit the subscribe button for more videos like my Facebook page at facebook.com slash techcrush156 Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash techcrosh156. Visit my website at techcrosh156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.